Jeff is like a walking anatomy chart. It's great to have him around. And the muscle markers, they make it really, really easy to understand. I'll tell you this, I've learned a lot about anatomy just from filming the videos. Okay, so now the obliques, they come, they run all the way down, no, right no, into it. No, 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 Cut, cut, cut. No, bad. You have the linear elbow that runs down here, and then it divides it into all these quadrants, right? Now, the lower abs would be right here, okay? The upper abs would be up in this area, and sometimes you can get a hernia right in the middle, right? So, so now the ocularis muscle that runs right here no, under the- No, 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 no. Not necessary, not near the eye. But they're no. muscles too, man. So now the supraspinatus is a really important muscle. Jesse, I can't reach it if you could just draw that in. That really is important now for the health of your shoulder. Now the thing is, while it may not be a big muscle, it really is important to keeping the stability here. You can see the stability of that muscle. So you want to make sure that you- What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. I got some artwork on my back today, and it's actually a muscle. But don't worry, I got back at Jesse, and you're gonna see that at the end of this video. But today I actually wanna share with you something even better, and it's the master tip. This time we're applying it to the triceps. If you follow along with any of our master tip series, you understand that I'm giving you one tip that applies to every single tricep exercise you do. It does not require any extra equipment, and it's something that you can do instantly and feel the difference. And when we're talking about feeling the difference, look at the difference here on just this dip. Now, it is very subtle, but I promise you, subtle things can actually have huge differences in terms of not just how it feels to you, but more importantly, to the results you see from doing the exercise. And here, we're talking about a matter of about an inch. Can you see the difference between these two dips? Here's the difference, guys. When you do your tricep exercises, we need to start exploring full extension at the elbow. And you might think that you're extending fully at the elbow because your arm is getting relatively straight, but I'm talking about full extension, provided you don't have any kind of blockage or chips in your elbow that prevent that. So it starts though with a little bit of anatomy because obviously we broke out the muscle marker. We have to look at what's going on here. This is the long head of the tricep. Okay, and the long head of the tricep attaches, unlike the other two heads of the tricep, attaches actually to our scapula, to our back. And you can see that over here, that it's attaching way up here. And because of that, in order to fully contract that muscle, your arm has to get back behind your body. Well, if we're not getting the full extension at the elbow, that makes it even more difficult and challenging to get actually behind your body. Now, I realize that not every arm exercise and tricep exercise requires that your arm gets back there, but more on that in a second. The second thing is you've probably been told something really important. That is, don't ever lock out your joints because locking out is a bad thing. Guys, that's a big myth. Okay, that's not true. What you want to do is our bodies were built to lock out. This elbow joint, to go to full extension, is meant to be in full extension. It's not a dangerous thing to be in full extension. The problem is when we add velocity to that. So you don't want to add velocity to that because that starts to get this pounding into extension. But guess what? You don't do that. You don't add velocity to your hinge joints. And the hinge joints being here in your elbow and down at your knee. You want to have a controlled contraction. But because we've learned that you don't want to do that, we usually kind of cut that short. And that's a problem. So here's how you apply it and get more from all these exercises. If we take a tricep push down right here, what we're doing is we're making sure that we don't just get the full extension, but because we have the opportunity to get the arms a little bit back behind our body, we can get an enhanced contraction of the long head of the tricep for the reasons I just told you. So you want to do that. If you're doing a dip like we covered here before, you have the opportunity by the placement of your upper body to shift it forward a little bit, get more upright, so you do take advantage of the fact that the arm can get back behind the body. But once again, it's about making sure you extend through that final one inch. That final one inch matters. It will make a difference when you accumulate rep after rep after rep of every single tricep exercise you do, I promise you. You can go here to a tricep extension. And the same thing, there's a great tricep exercise. It stretches the long head, and then we go and we reach full extension. Again, full extension. Those extra couple inches in this case matter a lot. And even if you have an exercise like the close grip bench press that doesn't have an opportunity for you to get your arm behind your body at full extension, you still want those extra few inches of full extension. So don't stop here, consciously push forward. Now here's one other thing you can do to make sure that you're doing this right. 
When you get to full extension or where you think it's full extension, back off one inch. Back off just a little bit. I'm showing you here on the tricep push down again. Back off just one inch and then reestablish the contraction again. You'll find that you'll probably get further than you even did the last time if you did short the extension. If you were able to get full extension the first time, then you're just reestablishing that again and your time under tension in this position will be elongated. But the fact of the matter is this, guys. You want to make sure that you are not shortchanging your reps, especially when it comes here. And the same thing is going to apply when it comes to your other hinge joint down at your legs, but we could talk about that in another video. In the meantime, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave your comments and thumbs up below. If you're looking for other programs that put the science back in strength, that's what we do in all of them. The muscle marker is a key component of what we do here, right? You want to head over to athletenext.com and do that. In the meantime, I'm going to turn this video over to Jesse, because he earned his right to be on this camera after what he did with his artwork on my shoulder. All right, guys, I'll see you again soon. Go ahead, Jesse. Uh, yeah, this is you know, punishment uh, for drawing the dick. Not a good idea. Um, go check out the video, uh, subscribe. Go check out his website, too. You know, my, Jeff, do I have to keep doing this?